rare and remarkable lights in the sky. The northern lights were visible in Southern California, all thanks to an extremely strong geomagnetic storm hitting Earth's atmosphere. Incredible. Mm -hmm. If you missed it, you might have another chance this evening. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen is at the Griffith Park Observatory with more. This is the most powerful solar storm in 19 years, along with the possibility of communications being disrupted here on Earth. The storm is also giving people across the world a dazzling show in the sky. And right here in Southern California, too. All you need is your cell phone camera to see it. The solar storm lit up the sky across the globe, making it look mystical. It's called the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, a rare sight this far south. Over at the Mount Wilson Observatory, you could see the sky change colors. But in San Bernardino County, the sky melted into nearly all colors of the rainbow, of reds, yellows, deep pinks, and purple hues. It was amazing. Um, I, I don't even know how to explain it. I've never seen it before. That was my first time. And the fact that we even got to see it here in Southern California. I mean, it was incredible. Photographer Brandy Carlos immediately took out her phone to capture the magic. I drove up as far as I could north on the 15 freeway, you know, just outside of Barstow, which is where I took those photos. And a lot of people in Southern California didn't get to see it because of the marine layer. These are images passengers took flying over Midway near Chicago. And in Wisconsin, the sky was a mix of pastels. Even people in Northern California were treated to a show. Scientists say the storm had the chance to produce northern lights across the northern hemisphere, but Southern California is a wild card. It's not really a surprise that it, they were noted further south, honestly, um, because when people are using their cameras in particular, their phones, you really catch the faint red hue that we're not seeing with the visible eye. Solar storms begin as giant explosions on the surface of the sun, which sends streams of energized particles toward Earth. When they hit our magnetic field, that's a solar storm. Sean Dahl with NOAA is helping track it. You're seeing some of the suns behind me here. Different, we look at different uh, temperatures, different wavelengths of light with the sun to see what it's doing and better analyze it. He says while the storm is weakening, there's still a chance to see the northern lights one last time. People can see this with their cameras, and we're always telling people that as well. Don't give up. Take a picture. Maybe it's there. Just not seeing it. One of the concerns with the solar storm is the possibility of it disrupting communications worldwide, including power grids, satellites, and GPS. So far, no major issues, and the White House says it's closely monitoring any impacts. Reporting in Griffith Park, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.